When I was offered the opportunity to edit Harper's Bazaar, I was absolutely thrilled. Diana Vreeland, she said, never say I, always say we. And I do believe that it is we, it is a team that that makes a great magazine. And we do work in a very collaborative and a very creative way. And out of that, something really interesting happens. Harper's Bazaar, and it's the oldest fashion magazine in the world. And it's tradition and its heritage that's something I feel absolutely passionate about. But it's a history that I wanted to live and breathe in the contemporary manifestation of the magazine. My ambition was to create something that could live up to and match some of those greatest moments. Beauty takes a very central role in the magazine. Our February cover of Anne Hathaway really did directly look back to a great Avedon cover from the 1950s. But in celebrating Anne Hathaway, we wanted to put her in that great tradition of the classic star that was so beautifully photographed and celebrated by Bazaar in the past. I'm also hugely committed to reportage photography. When we commissioned an issue that was all around the idea of the A-list, we commissioned a contemporary magnum photographer called Olivia Arthur, who had worked in places like Iran and Iraq, and she came up with the most incredible set of pictures behind the scenes, beyond the velvet rope. Harper's Bazaar UK is part of a much larger global brand. We don't just operate in a parochial way. What we do does speak to an international audience. But we're also incredibly fortunate in being able to work with Corinne Reutfeldt, Harper's Bazaar's global fashion director, and is creating some really wonderful shoots four times a year. And that just come alive in our edition. One of the exciting new developments for us is e-commerce. Vreeland started a rather wonderful section called Shop Bazaar. So we decided we wanted to do the same and we started a new section of the magazine called Shop Bazaar. But then thought, well, wouldn't it be great if literally people could shop off the page? So we've been working towards that. Also, we're working with brands to create limited edition pieces for e-commerce. The past can merge into the present and give an idea of the future. And I hope in an issue that that sense very subtly emerges from the pages for our readers. That is what I always hope for, that sense of a woman who is not in flight but nevertheless is not frozen in time. If you can capture that sense of life, I really feel that that's the most incredible achievement.